Hello my friends, today's video is all about Lilith, but just to let you know, there is a new update in Kingdom Rush Origins, which includes two heroes, Lilith and Bruce, who is a paid hero, and a new Endless Waves thing. So we've got Twilight Invasion now, which we could have a, a little bit of fun in here. This actually is a very, very similar level to um, one of these levels, I believe. I don't know, maybe it's in the- oh, here it is. Royal Gardens, it's like an exact same replica of Royal Gardens, does it not look almost the exact same? It's not the same, but it looks fairly the same. Anyways, back to Lilith. Let's go over each one of her upgrades to talk about it a little bit, and then go into her in battle. So first of all, uh, health. She's got a reasonable amount of health, 360 health, not exactly how much you want it to be, but she does have some armor, so that's definitely nice. Uh, as far as her attack goes, not bad, 14 to 22. I mean, there's somebody, there's people with, with higher ones, there's people with lower ones. She's kind of somewhere in the middle, as far as that's concerned. Um, and... Uh, so let's go over the upgrades now. So, I'm level 7 right now, so of course, once you get to level 10, it'll be a little bit better. So I got Reaper's Harvest all the way upgraded because it deals 380 true damage to an enemy with a 30% chance of doing an insta-kill to them. So that's pretty darn nice. Sadly, it's not an automatic insta-kill. If it was an automatic insta-kill, that would make it unbelievably awesome. But at least 380 true damage. There's not that many guys that are going to survive 380 true damage besides, like, Bandersnatches and really, really big guys. So that's why I got that one upgraded all the way. Soul Eater absorbs the soul of a fallen enemy and receives an extra damage bonus for 6 seconds. So as long as you're killing people, you're going to do even more damage, which is obviously pretty darn nice. Infernal Wheel creates a ring of fire for a certain amount of seconds, dealing uh, a lot of damage to enemies and at almost 200 damage at the, at the, at the farthest level, which is, is pretty solid, if you say the least. If you've got a big group of uh, killing damage, we definitely love grouped damage, not just single damage. And Resurrection Lilith has a certain amount of chance of being revived instantly after being slain, so that's pretty darn nice. Um, we can actually train that right now. You have a 25% chance of getting upgraded at the very highest one, so uh, not bad. Not bad. I mean, that's that's okay one, but I, I, I'm not a huge fan of that. I just try not to kill them in the first place. At least I try not to. Heavenly Chaos. 50-50 chance of uh, calling Fallen Angels or a Reign of Fire, dealing over a thousand damage so that's that's pretty solid to say the least anyways let's show her off and of course the level that i always show off all my heroes in in grimsburg i feel like it's a nice even uh reasonable level with reasonable difficulty guys all right so um let's move around let's see how fast does she move she's actually kind of slow she's she's not very quick that's okay but she's not very quick she better have some uh, other really awesome things about her so let's put some arrows in the back here just to kind of uh, keep the guys from getting through. And let's see how good is she going to do with just regular attacks. So let's check out her attacks. Let's see what she does. So first of all, there is the burning of the ground. If you keep guys in that thing right there, that's actually pretty darn awesome. Also, you just saw the scythe insta-kill. That was uh, 380 true damage. It was definitely an insta-kill on all these guys very, very easily. But on the, the harder guys, again, it's only a, a minimal chance. So another thing I want to point out is that she doesn't always use her scythe. She often throws barrages of these random stones all over the place, which is actually, in my opinion, kind of a bad thing, because she doesn't stall when she's doing that. She's just throwing things. So as far as damage goes, she's not bad as far as damage goes. She dies quite easily, in my opinion. She's actually, even with that armor, she's dying against these, these few hoplite guys. we got to move her out of the way, and... Um... Stalling is terrible. So, like... I love stalling, as you guys probably know. My heroes, like, that's the main thing that I like to look for in my heroes, is how well can we stall things. And she's really bad at it. So damage, okay. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are probably going to like her because she does a reasonable amount of damage, and her moves are kind of cool. But definitely not my type of hero. Now, we do have one little section thing that we got to uh, show you guys, which is the Heavenly Chaos. So this is either a meteor shower or uh, a few angels just kind of coming in and just scything people. So let's see which one is this. It's going to be the Rain of Fire. So I felt like I pressed it in the right spot, and then it showed up in kind of the wrong spot. So um, what I noticed was this is not as accurate as you might like it to be. So as far as that's concerned, it does do a pretty reasonable amount of damage, but it's not perfectly accurate, and it does have a reasonable amount of cooldown. It's not very quick at all. But like I said, over a thousand damage is definitely not bad compared to a lot of other moves. A thousand damage, man, that's pretty solid. So let's get on over here to the next wave. We've got to get this next wave out here so we can use the, the other ability, hopefully, which I hope hopefully it's going to be the other one instead of... Hopefully it just switches off. I kind of hope that it just switches off instead of just actually having a 50-50 chance of each one. Um, so, 
basically all it has is little angels pop up. Let's see. Here we go. You can see the little crazy angels. They come out and they scratch the eyes out of the enemy. And it's it's pretty decent because you can't really miss with it. You know, you have the angels pop into existence and they're gonna scratch. And that's why I like that one a little bit better than the rain of fire that comes down upon. Them. But that's all I'm gonna have for you guys today. If you guys uh, uh, wanna uh, press the like video, press the like for me. I would appreciate that a bunch. But overall, I would rate her at about a six or seven out of ten. Not a huge fan as far as my gameplay style. And thanks for watching. Have a super duper delicious day.